Hello my friends, I'm G Hondo, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Guild of Dungeoneering. In the last episode, we captured the Sapphire of Tlaloc, and with it, enough money to afford an upgrade. So I've buzzed through here, and I think the one I'm happiest with is this guy here. Uh, for a couple reasons. One, the awesome Cavalier's Hat. Um, second, um, sorry, it was this one here, Spiky from uh, Shield. And third, an alternate way to get ranged. Now, unfortunately, it also comes with decay, which kind of sucks. But it's another way to get ranged. And as I'm sure you've heard a million times me say now, I really, really, really like range. So we are going to take the fine chisel upgrade and head on out into the wild, wild wilderness. Um, I think I might do the alternating pirates and jungle, I, kind of like I did when I was just playing on my own. Or I wonder if I should just kind of push through the jungle a bit more first. Eh, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll go up here. Do the skull ta cavern. I almost said skull tavern. Wow. <laughs> anyway, let's grab our ranger, and I will like would prefer to go back to the trickster's greed. I had to switch to this one because we were just getting stomped on last time, but let's try this and hopefully it goes well so what would it like me to do here apparently I'm bothering his parrots defeat three cranky parrots got it those are the lads there okay well you can connect there and you can connect one of them there and I think I'd like to fight a well, one head monkey would make sense, wouldn't it? Seems legit. Or an oarsman. Ain't no battle without a paddle. Okay, just for that terrible pun, <laughs> monkey it is. Wow. Okay. Sure, let's trade some damage. Okay, well, I think we have to do the unblockable, otherwise he steals the card. That one's unblockable, so let's just punish it. And ew. Ew. I mean, it won't matter for this fight, but ew. That's a terrible card to see. Like I say, it won't matter in this fight because I'm winning, but that's a terrible card to see. Demon Claw is. Good start. Alright, well there's the last of the corridors. Oh no, sorry, I guess it's not. There's no opening this side. I have to come down and around. So I think I'm better to do this one here, and then this one here. Okay, now I have a path to wherever. You want to go that way, that's fine. Fight Norseman. So I guess we'll just wander around fighting until we beat up all the parrots. Not too bad. That's not very nice. And you have Fury, so I think I'd rather store up some damage before your Fury mode comes on. Or, I could just say forget it and eviscerate right off the start. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I like eviscerate, can you tell? <laughs> well, I'm not giving that up even for fire. So, basically I'm looking at a hit point or stupidity. Hey, a hit point sounds great. <laughs> anyway. Warn me on what? Get out of here. Alright, so monkeys are easy. Let's try Cabin Boy. Hi, Mage. Hi, Matey. <laughs> Hi, well, He's got mundane, so he'll hate magic attacks, although I don't have much in that at this point, but that's okay. Let's just go ahead and slap the cabin boy around a bit. Oh, you even have stupidity. That is so nice of you. Well, that's a little bit less ideal, but okay. We'll just do it unblockable. Easy as pie. Oh, 
Right, so skull cap isn't bad. The hook is a direct upgrade, and that would give me blade four and swift. That's a definite, definite maybe. Uh, the parrot, though, would give me spiky, which I do really like, but I think in this case I'm going to have to go for blade four. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just go ahead and uh, fight the first parrot. Give myself some cash for a reward when it's done, and that'll be great. Alright, so you would block magic, don't care. Uh, should I just treat your damage? No, I'll store some up, it's okay. Good. I 100% I approve of your decision to be sued. 100% approved. Don't approve of that quite so much, but it'll be fine. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, slap them out of it. Oh, I absolutely approve of you actually having two stupidities. I 100% approve of that, too. I'm suddenly a lot less afraid of these things. I'm not sure why they're why they're considered so bad. I mean, I guess that's a problem, but still, that's... Overall, that seemed like a very easy fight. Maybe I just got lucky they got both stupidities, but... Still, that seemed really easy. Alright, well, that would give me Swift 3. Or I could just take Bulwark without even looking at the rest of them. Problem solved. Alright. What do these things actually have? Pickpocket 2, Nature 1, Stupidity 2, and... F okay, it's the Feral 5 is the real problem. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's try a Buccaneer and give ourselves some a shiny gem for our trouble. And while the fellow's walking over there, I'll pet Smokey because he's standing here screaming at me. Oh, excuse me. Aren't you, buddy? Yes. That's a good kitty. Oh, hey, an unblockable attack. You know what doesn't like that? Dice. Dice doesn't like that. So you should probably not do it. Ow. Ow. Right. So I have to cut a giant hole in this guy. It will put him in fury mode, but it'll also put him on a clock. Wow. I mean, I'm going to win anyway, but that is nasty. I would not want to fight one of these without a ranger. Anyway. Yeah, the Cavalier's hat's probably going to be my choice, but let's check the rest real quick. Uh, well, there's always that, too. That's also an excellent choice. So do I want Holy Arcane or Swift and Blade? I've already got all the Blade, but Swift is really good. I'll take Swift. Just a second, buddy. I'll move my keyboard, and then you can crawl all over me. Okay, go ahead. There you go. The joys of owning cats. Anyway, Buccaneer, massive gem, let's go. Right, so uh, we'll just camouflage a little bit of that away. And a little bit more of that. Is beating the living crap out of me here. I do not like my chances unless I get a great draw right here. And that is not going to do it. Poop. Poop, poop, poop. No, not poop. Yes, poop. Sorry, he's in fury mode. I was going to say because the bulwark will take care of that, but it won't because that's he's in fury mode. Poop. Poop, poop, poop. Alright, well, maybe this dungeon's a little harder than I thought it was going to be. Okie dokie. <laughs> Alright, let's try with, uh... Let's try the cat burglar. Steve the cat burglar. Come on, Steve, you can be the hero of the day. Alright, well that's a good start. Connect that up. Fight a monkey. 
pay ourselves a coin. Seems like a decent first turn. Okay, uh, let's just catnip. And now we can fling a cat at him. And we'll do a, another fling cat at him. You may be wondering why I chose the cat burglar and not the bruiser. It might have something to do with the cat sitting on my lap, but I can't prove it to you. <laughs> anyway, uh, wooden board is armor. That's fire. That's swift and growth. That's probably the one we're taking because both of these are just a hit point. Sash it is. Alright, well, let's try our hand at the cabin boy. Pay ourselves a coin for our trouble. Can I connect? Yep, I can connect up that one for later. Excellent. Oh, he's mundane, so magic attacks are good. Drawing cards is good. but not so much, but that will knock one off himself so if we get our cat out here. Victory. Okay, cooking pot's not bad because of the fire mostly. Blade 2, we know we like blade. Having said that, we kind of almost like mage ropes, but anyway. Uh, more growth and a hit point, that can't be bad. I go Daisy Chain. I haven't used that one in a while. At least not that I remember. I didn't kind of get them mixed up now and again. But anyway, let's go ahead and give ourselves a massive gem. And uh, we'll fight a sea monkey. Oh, that's a terrible pun. I don't know how well you can read that font, but it's monkey sea monkey do, but they spelled sea like, as in sea, the, the sea, sea monkey. Oh, that's terrible. Terrible, terrible puns. Anyway. Alright, so you've got the ferocious thing going on. Which could be a problem. Let's get a card draw going. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So let's get the hit points back. Stole the scratch, you jerk. Fling a cat at you. That is a fantastic choice. I completely approve. Oh look, that looks familiar. Huh, wonder where you got that. Huh, jerk. <laughs> well, the quick part's irrelevant since it already goes first, but anyway. Alright, well, let's go ahead and fling a cat at you. Put it down the fence here. And, assuming nothing untoward happens, pounce for the win. There we go. One less parrot. Okay, lots of stuff to choose from here. So there's Fire, Holy, and Growth. Growth 3 is very good, the refresh. I uh, really, really really like spiky though, plus armor and blade. I'm probably going for that. Well, I, I like fury too, but I like spiky more. Blessed is very good too. Yeah, there's just too much to choose from here, but I'm going to go with the spiky shield. Okay. I saw some cash. I'll regret that. Yeah, probably, but it's a little bit late for that now. Oh, I used the entirely wrong corridor here, didn't I? Okay, well, I guess I'll have to uh, dig this out the long, slow way. That's fine. No matter. I didn't completely block it off. I can still get to it. If I get one that's got an opening left and blocked off to the right. Oh, kind of like that. I could, that could help. Um, or I could just do that. And that, and that. Right, there's my path, as convoluted as it may be. So now I'm just at a point where I'm giving myself 
free stuff. I don't think I even need to put any more monsters down. Just fighting the stuff that's already out should do the trick. Uh, yeah, we'll offset your damage. That'll do. And, uh, we'll just slap you around a little. Ah, uh, I think this is the first we'll have seen this, because this is really something that only came up in the pirate stuff. Uh, the aquatic set has a lot of what they call, um, recycle. Um, so it basically, it's... It makes you discard a card, but that lets you draw one right back. So you still have the same number. You just don't get to have the one you had up here. So basically, if you've been saving one really good card for a while, that would make you discard it and draw something else. So it's kind of annoying, but it's not really that bad. It's mostly just annoying. <laughs> if I'm going to be right and perfectly honest. It's strange, I guess is the better way of describing it. That's also a fairly obnoxious one. He gains a heart and uh, steals a card. It has nothing, there's nothing I can do about it. Well, except kill him, of course, but either way. A pickpocket group's kind of an irritating one, too. Alright. Uh, two stupidity. Not a chance. Not likely. I already have that. Nope. And, uh... Well, they both have spiky so that part's the same crushing growth instead of blading armor uh, nope I'll just take a yellow card apparently I'll take a couple yellow cards one for you and one for you and off we go yes I'm sure the massive gem is potable don't worry about it sorry potable the terrible cat puns anyway Let's go ahead and slap this guy around a bit. I 100% approve. Unblockable, so I'll just gain that hit point back. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Well, I don't want you stealing this. I don't care so much about the rest. I don't want him stealing that. Uh, that's not a very nice card either. Clearly the feral part is the dangerous part of this deck. But... Ouch, ouch, ouch. And, well, it's only one damage. I can take it. Whew, that was a close one. That was a lot closer than I would have liked it to have been. Alright, so... Okay, that's not bad. That's not as good. Not as good. P distinct possibility. Or... Oh, a hit point for refresh. Refresh is nice because it basically just says, as a quick action, your health becomes 6. That's not gain 6 health, that's your health becomes six. So if you're down to one or two or three and you use it, you just suddenly you're at six. So it's quite neat. That's a quick one too, so it goes before your opponent's attack. So if they un suddenly unleash some absolutely massive attack and you just can't take it, that will let you take it. Well, unless it's over six, I guess, but then you're screwed anyway, so <laughs> it probably doesn't matter. Yep, yeah, just keep walking. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Yes, that is the best approach. You're doing fine. Yes, meow, indeed. Okay, here we go. One more cranky pet. Oh, good starts. Not for me, but good start for you. Yes, I know you're ferocious and you're using Feral 5. Jerk. I better start catching up a little bit. I'm way behind on, on hits here. Oh, Dice does not like it when you use an unblockable attack, sir. It does not like it very much at all. Not at all. 
Oh, that's delightful. I was going to say I had the victory anyway, but that uh, that makes it even easier. There we go. Alright, that's the first section of this dungeon done. And you got Zealot, which is a terrible one. I mean, Holy One is good, but it's not worth losing a loot choice slot every time for. So that's a bit unfortunate. That's okay. Our ranger's back. But I'm going to stick with the cat burglar for the next section. Because he's doing... where'd he go? There you are. Steve. Get back in there, Steve. I get the sense I'm about to be chased by something. Whatever you are. A flaming gala. Okie dokie. Ferocious and burn. Yow, says. Let's go a different way. Okay, so I'll lure you this way. And I'll let that thing bounce off this monkey. So that at least will slow it down a bit. Alright, so far so good. We're continuing to get corridors. There's something I can fight, and something he can fight. So that's actually a very good turn. I keep my distance, and I get the piece of equipment. Assuming I can beat him, but I should be able to beat an oarsman. Fury or not, I should be able to beat this guy. <laughs> should be able to. <laughs> Well, I could be in a lot of trouble here. Oh, good draw. Very good draw. Okay. That was a lot closer than it should have been, but anyway. Alright, Pigeon Nest is okay. Hand Axe is pretty good. So are these. But I think I'll take Hand Axe. Smite. Yes, okay. Uh, we can go ahead and so we can continue downwards. And I'm not fighting a cranky parrot, so you fight the cranky parrot. Okay. I could fight a gunner. I don't think I can take a buccaneer, but I could probably take a gunner. It's going to be a tough fight, though. I would much prefer another level 1 or for a second piece of equipment first, because this guy's going to be tough. But I'll do what I can. I think it's the first time you guys have all seen Rum on here, too. Uh, it's sort of like an inverse Tenacious, so when he gets down to 1, um, like Tenacious would say if you get killed but you have multiple hit points, you get back up to 1. What Rum says is the very first time you start your turn with only one hit point, you just gain two hit points. It's uh, pretty harsh. Well, you're juicing up. I guess I'll juice up as well. And then we'll just trade some damage. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess I will uh, go ahead and lose. Well, technically it's a tie, but that's functionally a loss. Okay, well, our uh, ranger just came back, so I guess uh, it's time for the ranger. Not the chump. We're not taking a chump. I don't think I'm ever using that chump again. Unless I lose a dungeon about 80 times in a row and I just get so mad I just say, forget it, I'll use the silly chump. <laughs> oh, good. My only corridor is a dead end. Well, I'm not putting that down. So I definitely have to let this thing get closer to me this turn, which sucks, but anyway. No, let's block that. I will block some of that. And then we'll blast you for a whole lot and you'll go away. Work. Okay. Probably taking the grenade. Maybe the hit point though. No, I'll just take the fire too. Because you know, that's going to be effective against a fire bird, but anyway. <laughs> Actually it still is, but anyway, that's completely separate. Only a level 3, you can fight that, I'm not doing it. But we do get the opportunity to flee, and that is exactly what we're going to do. 
because I am nowhere near ready to fight this. I'm not even at a point where I could fight that level 3, let alone this thing. Okay, an oarsman. Yes, I will fight an oarsman, and you can have a sea monkey. Okay, so far so good. An oarsman I should be able to take. Should be able to take. Have a fire blast. Kill yourself off. That works. Good. Okay. You already are a ranger. The twig is not good. The repel's alright. Yeah, we'll just take the wooden board. It's not great, but it'll do for now. Hot squawk. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess we're going here. Okay. Um... Let's try a sea monkey. And here, have a parrot. Okie dokie. No, nope, we'll just blast you there. That's unblockable, that's obnoxious. Have a fire blast. Okay, now we're tied back up right up until here. This irritates me intensely. So we'll just go ahead and shoot it. Which one did you steal? The flame lash you would do in the... Such a jerk. Anyway. We'll block that. Some of it. Okay, well you're not doing an attack, so I guess uh, I'll just do that. Go away, monkey. Okay. Alright, so. Trade in fire for blade. Gain stupidity. Gain retribution and armor and arcane. Or trade. Nope, Seafarer's Brace it is. Okay. So far, so good. Keep running for a little while longer. Have a parrot. I'm almost to a point where I think I can take it. I'd like a little bit better equipment yet, but we're almost there. Well, you're mundane. That means you will absolutely hate the flame arrow. Probably also not a big fan of me gaining another card, but whatever. Okay, so we'll just uh, let you kill yourself. Simple. Okay. Tattered male, no. Scimitar, no. Male coif, no. Tricorn, yes. Okay. Much better. I think I can take go on a level three now. I think I can take a uh, parrot. I could actually throw a gem to slow it down as well, but. No sense in throwing it away completely. Right, let's get another card up here. Ouch. And it's ferocious. That's actually a four point hit. Ouch. get a retribution hit in. Excellent choice. I think that actually wins it for me. Because now I've got you down to a very tiny amount, which means the ranged dice here will obliterate you. Excellent. So a tough fight, but we made it. Alright. Nope. Nope. Yep. Oh. That's also very tempting, though. I really do like Eviscerate. Mm. Or just gain Fury. Fury is also really, really good. Mm. 
No, I think I gotta take the broken bottle. As much as I like that, I think I gotta take the broken bottle. Okay, well, let's just do it. Come here, you little bugger. Come get some. In burning mode, too. This is gonna be rough. Nope. 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 Okay, that one I don't care about. So I'll just get a little bit ahead on the damage race. A little bit. Not cool. Completely not cool. But I have to block it. Otherwise I die to the burn. This is a quick attack that'll go off before the plunder and before the burn. That'll do it. That's a tough one. Flesh wound, that's a bad one. Thanks for that. Our cat burglar has returned. Now let's get back out there and try and finish this off with a drastically weakened ranger. Hero fricassee. He's after your parrots. Okay. <laughs> I will take your word for that, sir. Thank you for catching all those parents, chum. Uh-huh. I'll make a fine feast for the crew. Well, that's not cool. I just was beating them up. I wasn't trying to cook them. Alright. Oh, okay, yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. How you can rescue new classes. So after I beat this guy up, I'll unlock something that lets me have the drunken sailor. Anyway, he's going to chase me down in 10 turns. He doesn't have anything that says, you know, to hurry after him, so I might as well just take those turns and uh, build up as much as I can in terms of equipment so I have a chance of fighting him. <clears throat> you don't have Fury or anything, so... There's no reason not to hit you as hard as I can. And now I should be able to take him down in one shot. There we go. Yep. Uh, maybe. Useless. Maybe. Definitely. Okay. Wise is good. Devil. My other kitty's come out to say hi. Hi, Devil. Okay, so... Um, yeah, there's no chests or anything on the map, so it doesn't really matter if I go after the guy or just kind of wander back and forth. It makes no difference. So I'll just go ahead and fight a monkey. That will be fine. You don't have anything special, so there's no reason to worry about it, but I'll just juice up anyway. It'll be fine. Don't like that one bit. Uh, I don't really want you to have that, but I don't want you to have this either, so... Okay, you just took a generic attack. That's fine. You can have that one. I'll just offset your damage. Feed you one. Blink. And, uh, yeah, finish with the floor now. Good enough. Uh, probably ruffled shirt, I think. Swift is good. Can I take a gunner? Yeah, I should be able to. As long as I don't get completely hosed on draws, I should be able to take a gunner. Ew, he's going to gain Conceal. I really don't like Conceal. 
So we'll just ignore his damage. And uh, let's blast him unblockable, just in case. Yeah, I was right. Okay, see how spiky has a lot of defensive cards. Ow. Well, uh, I can take that. I don't want to let him get down just to one, though. Because then he'll get the rum bonus. So I'll just shoot him for one this turn, and then shoot him for two next turn. Otherwise, he'll gain back the two hit points here. Whereas doing it this way, he won't get a chance. There we go. Awesome. Okay, Shimmering Cloak is decent. The Anchor is pretty good. Spiky Hat's awesome. And the Hook's pretty good. Spiky Hat it is. Don't really want to deal with any of those, so how about instead we just let him walk over that way. And that lets you come after me because you're aggressive. Uh, no thanks. Ow. Just ow. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Oh, that's unblockable. Dice doesn't like unblockable. Now you're in fury mode though, which might be a problem. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a problem. Yep, it sure is. Poop. Okay. <clears throat> Okie dokie. <laughs> We're uh, really grinding through this one here. Let's actually let's try the bruiser. It's a pretty tough character, supposedly. With an awesome name of Garf. <laughs> Eve -ho. Eve -ho. Indeed. Okie dokie. Let's just punch you back. That we can block and thus get a spiky hit in as well. Which puts you in fury mode, but also puts you down to one hit point. So as long as you don't kill me, like you will in this shot if I don't uh, block here, that's not cool. But, but you'll kill yourself, so it's fine. All right, Demon Claw is an excellent one for a melee class like the Bruiser. Well, frankly, it's good for anybody, really. But anyway, well, let's fight a monkey. That'll do. I don't want to do an attack that he can... I really don't want to waste this either, but I don't want him stealing a card, so... Sadly, I have to just kind of waste it. Now well, we can offset one of it. That'll do. Still within reach. As long as it doesn't completely hose me here, we shall be okay. Yeah, I can take that hit. He won't take mine. Okay. It's a squeaker, but it's a victory. Ruffled shirt or sash? Sash. Okay. I think I'd rather fight a sea monkey than uh, a buccaneer. So I think we'll just do that. I could connect it though and then let him start chasing me. Now oh, that's enough to get you interested in going that way. Alright, well then I better get a, at least that fight in. Ah, oh, I forgot uh, that you'd be interested in fighting. Okie dokie. Alright, you're going to go to fury mode on the next hit no matter what I do. Rough. 
Okay, so I'll take the hit, but have to drop the card. Unless I draw something good here, which is not that. Ah, yeah. His fury beat me. Okie dokie. Sorry that this is a bit of a grind here, folks, but apparently not doing so well in this episode. <sighs> okay. But I will have victory. I don't care if I'm here all night. I will have victory. The wife's already gone to sleep because it's four in the morning. So I have all the time in the world. Now, I guess if I'm still playing when she wakes up, she'll probably get mad at me, but <laughs> that's completely separate. That seems like something we can block. Fury mode's still not on yet. Two in the bank. Two forward. Okay. okay. Sash or leather bound tome? Swift and growth, fire and arcane. I really like swift, so I'm going to go with sash. Let's fight another one. This time I won't connect that yet. Okay, that seems like something I can just basically ignore. Reduce that. Let him start whittling himself down and prepare to finish him off. Well, there's another shot, the leather bound tome, so I guess I might as well take it now. Uh, still don't really want to fight him yet, so uh, how about a cabin boy? Hi, matey. Hi, matey. Good start. I'll hit you for two, because I'm mundane. Draw a card. Well, you know, let's just draw another card. Seems like a reasonable strategy to me. I don't think I can lose this battle at this point, unless I do something monumentally stupid. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I have done so before, but anyway. Okay. Uh, Daisy Chain would give me another growth. The anchor would give me a pair of crush. Or a crush and a growth. Just do that. Okay, I guess that's as good a plan as any. Uh, Alright, let's fight another cabin boy. Make it worth our while. I think after this fight I'll be ready to connect this, assuming I get such a corridor. Uh, let's not let you do that. Alright. Hit you for two, and I'll just take that hit point back. Thank you very much. It's a bit of a jerk move for that. You get punished with fire. Right. Okay, so no, I already have that. That's very good. That's a direct upgrade, but this one I don't have one of, so I might as well just take that. There, now I have something in every slot, so now we're just looking to upgrade some of them. Oh, I did get that corridor. Marvelous. And we can actually fight a gunner as a warm-up to the buccaneer. That'll work. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. I don't like unblockable, neither does dice. Well, that's unblockable, so I guess I'll just uh, shoot you. Uh, if I do that, he goes then to rum mode. So I guess I'll just do this one instead. OK, 
Okay, you're reloading, so I have to do a magic attack. Not a problem. We have one of those. Okay. QL. Uh, that doesn't seem like much of an upgrade. Uh, that does. That seems like a great upgrade, actually. That's comparable. Eviscerate and interrupt. Or eviscerate and bleed. Yes, please. Yes, I know. You see me. You don't like me. I'm very aware. Thank you, though. Good. Good start. Well, not for me. Good start for him. <laughs> Okay, hitting him will put him into Fury Mode. Which means I'll need a stronger block for the head blow. Wow. Well, I just lost again due to this ridiculous power. Yeah, okay. That is crazy. Yes, thank you for that. Okay. Again. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, really even know what to say at this point. I'm getting stomped on. Oh well. So be it. Alright. Corridor. Or is me. Let's go. down to one and this is uh, unblockable good night cat burglar okay 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 ranger hug in a bottle let's go One less mark. Wise would probably be good. Tenacious is good, but I hate stupidity so much. Arcane and growth is good too, but I think I'd like wise. Having more cards gives me a better chance of finding something to block or deal with whatever <laughs> insanity this thing throws at me. Come on. Thank you. So I'm not going to connect that yet. <sighs> okay. Uh, that's only if you block a physical, so I'll just use a magical. Okay, we'll block some of that. And uh, let's just finish you. Spyglass you don't need because you're already a ranger. Kappa. And I don't want to lose wise. I hate stupidity. Well done. Oh, I can't take a cranky parrot. Oh, that was a wasted turn. 
I guess the other option, I could maybe try and build all the way here and just avoid him. But if I can't take him, I'm not going to be able to take him anyway, so I don't see a lot of point to that. But I guess that is an option. But I have to assume this guy's going to be even worse. So. Okay. Okay. That's unblockable, so we'll just smack him. Bye. Bye. That only affects if I hit physically. So we won't do that. Fine. Okay. If I block one of that, leave one chief stop from behind, then I think it's a safe bet. This one's done. Okay. Okay. Uh, sash, for sure. Okay. So I'm going to bravely try a monkey. Bravely try a monkey. Bravely try a monkey. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I can't completely block it, so there's no point in the camouflage. I guess if I have to lose a turn, I must well pick one up to compensate. He took the camouflage. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I think I've got this one in the bag anyway. Okay. Corsay. Trades armor for swift. Nah. Arcane, holy fire for swift and growth. No. Or just gain blade too. Okay, that was easy. <sighs> I don't know that I really want to fight. So that's a buccaneer, right? Pirate is aggressive and rum. Crewmate won't matter. Pickpocket rage and armed. More rage and armed. No pickpocket. But fury. You at least don't have... Fury. So if I'm going to fight a level 3, I think you're my best bet. Granted, the uh, parrot has stupidity too. Be brave, be brave, be brave. If you survive that, you can go back down there for some gold. Okay. Okay. Good start. Try and save the blocks for something worse. That's a little bit worse, but yeah, that's okay. We'll block that. Yeah, things are going well so far. Having this many cards to choose from, I think, is really helpful. Let's use Steelhead Arrow. Knocks it down to one, which means a simple wooden arrow will do it. Okay, so with enough cards, I can take a parrot. Good to know. Uh, that looks really promising. That looks decent. But I think the easy choice is the Cavalier's Hat. Now it's time to continue being brave. I guess I could have let him walk down here and grab that and then come back up to fight him, but eh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so be careful for fear. Nice start, sir. Nice start. Wow, okay.
really, uh, really pushing on this one, aren't you? Now, this will put him in fury mode. It'll deal one, two, three, four damage, bringing him down to two, which means that should kill him. I think I've got this one this time. Because this will do two damage. Okay. So a tough fight, but we made it. Uh, the conch um, is good, except for the stupidity. I don't really want to lose wise, though. Having all those cards has really been helpful. And I can't imagine wanting to give myself decay, so... As awesome as haste is, though, don't get me wrong, uh, I don't want to give up Eviscerate for it. Well, he's just going to come after me anyway, so it's irrelevant. But it might not be a bad idea to try and get a bit better equipment by fighting a parrot. Oops, put it in the wrong square. Oh well, that's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, that would be one I would like to block, but I guess that's not going to happen. I don't want to give it a viscerate, so I'll use it. I can have that flame arrow, that's fine. Deal some damage. Oh, you got those two in a row. Well, that was good for me then. Alright. That helped a lot. Alright, masquerade mask. Uh no. Red mail. No. Spear. No. Okay. Well, I only have time to get any two of them, so I guess it doesn't really matter which one I actually get. Well, I guess I'll try and get the two gems. They're worth slightly more than the bag of coins. Not like it makes a huge difference. It's the difference between three gold and two gold, but anyway. Well, I'll even let him decide which way he walks on his last turn before this guy jumps him. Alright, you bugger. Come get some. Okay. Let's block some of that. Oh, that's right. He's got respite, so if I don't hurt him, he gains hit points. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, he's going to steal a card, so let's gain a card. He stole the interrupt. Jerk. Oh, very nice. Uh, which one do I not want you to get? Probably the rekindle. Oh, look, my interrupt. Isn't that nice? Okay, well, at least I can block that one. He's just gonna respite, but that's fine. It's unblockable. So I'll heal myself a little bit. Now he's in fury mode, so now is when he's going to start to... <laughs> now he's going to start to hurt me. Uh, yeah. Anyway. I don't think I'm beating this guy. Unless I get really, really lucky. Because uh, that will kill me. Because of fury. He has five hit points. I have nothing stored up. Down I go. Oh, that is harsh. Alright. We'll keep going. We will keep going. Now, is it time to look at either the mime who can uh, also wreck the opponent's deck because that's what the guy was doing to me or the apprentice it's all magic, but I don't know. Starting with Talented is also helpful. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I have a library. I have an apprentice. Well, let's get out there. Give the apprentice a try. Oh, 
Oh, well, we're at the hour mark. Going strong, but uh, starting to starting to fade a bit here. Because on top of this one, I've already recorded an hour-long Aurora tonight as well. And that was also a bonus episode. I was feeling very ambitious tonight, but I'm starting to wonder if that was such a good plan. Oh, well. Alright, so that's unblockable. So I guess I'll just zap them. I can't do anything about that, sadly. So I guess I'll just, uh, guess I'll just zap them again. Ah, <laughs> oh, congratulations, Orlid. You did so well. You almost got out of your first fight. Almost. <clears> hmm. <throat> Okay. 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 Yeah, I think I'm going to save up and then pick up either the uh, shapeshifter or the um, alchemist. I think it'll probably be the alchemist because of Blessed. It means he's really good at healing himself. And that's, as far as I can suspect with my exhausted brain, the only likely way I'm going to offset over all these fury attacks. So That's the plan. So I just have to survive long enough to, you know, beat up a lot of monsters or just keep getting creamed over and over and over again until I happen to make enough to get to the 500. <clears throat> wow. Just wow. Alright, so you're already in fury mode. But it doesn't matter to a ranger as much as it does to everyone else. Okay, that's our last hug in a bottle. We'll do an unblockable so you don't get to yoink. This will just shoot you. down to one before you steal camouflage but it won't matter okay bandana hand axe I think bandana all right see monkey let's go <clears throat> Lovely start. Lovely start, you jerk. I'm going to take the flame arrow. I guess that's better than taking the repel, which I kind of need right now. So the anchor is a trade. That's a bit of a trade. This is just a sheer gain, spiky, and some other cards. That's fine. Let's fight a cabin boy. Make some gold for it. In case I do lose, I'll be a little bit closer to the alchemist. Uh, anyway. Alright, not having that. 
got us back here. You hate mundane, or since you are mundane, so you hate magic, so have a magic attack. Fine. Go away. Fine. No. Probably. Now I have at least reasonable equipment in every slot, but I still would rather not get involved. I really am just going to go up and down here trying to gather yellow cards until he comes at me. Because look, even if I lose that, I should be able to get enough gold to to buy that um, that alchemist class. behavior at all. Actually, I could have let him, because the retribution then would have killed him. Crud. I ah, screwed that up, but oh well. Oh well. And then he got some rum hit points back. But that's okay. It won't be enough to save him. Okay, Stiletto is a trade of Blade for Swift, trade Blade for Crush, or Blade for Crush. You clearly want to give me a weapon. The only one I'm even thinking about is the Stiletto, but I think it, I'd rather just take the yellow card. I will fight a Gunner again. Try and pick up some more gold. Blockable, so we don't get hit by Spiky. Ow. I'll have Retribution, so I'll let that trigger this time. No reason not to. It's a mistake on my part last time. Have Spiky. And go away. Alright. This rate is awesome. Bleed is even better. Yeah, man, look at the club. Why bother? Eviscerate and bleed. Instant. An obvious choice. Okay. Cabin boy. Let's go. I'm sticking mostly to level 2s because I don't want to lose to a level 3 and feel really, really, really stupid. I'm going to stick to level 2s for a little while longer. As long as it lets me anyway. Although soon I'm going to get into a point where there's no equipment worth picking up. And I think I'm at that point now. So I guess I will have to go after threes. Arg. Arg, indeed. And we'll just toss that somewhere. Who cares? Okay. Well, let's go. Unblockable. Why wouldn't it be? Well, at least I'll get a retribution on them. So let's draw a card. Not quite into Fury mode yet, so this will still block. For now, anyway. Have a spiky. Now he's in Fury mode, so he instantly draws the Maul. Oh, wow. Alright. Okay, well, at least this time I did it, but that is brutal. Just a brutal opponent. Alright, Heater Shield. Lose Spiky for fire. No. Lose my bleed stuff. Not a chance. Lose my bleed stuff. No, as much as I like Swift, I'm not losing bleed for it.
Let's just go with a parrot instead. It seems a little more reasonable. Even though they're both technically level 3 monsters, I'd say the parrot's way less of a danger. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still dangerous, but I don't think it's anywhere near as bad. Well, I guess we're doing a camouflage since you're blocking magic. Speaking of bleed stuff, that seems like a fantastic thing to do. Okay, let's just eviscerate this thing. It's now down to one, which means... I can just wait for the bleed, I guess. Spiky, either way. Okay. No. Wise versus spiky, that's an interesting question. Uh, definitely not. This is the only one I'm really considering. Yeah, I think I'll take wise over spiky. As much as I like spiky, wise is also really good. Find another parrot. Get one last chance at some L3 equipment. Upgrade something before we fight that guy. So the more cards I have, the better chance I have of drawing something like this, which will be awesome. can't do anything about that, so I guess we'll just uh, punish it for that. It'll bleed down to one, and we can finish it. Okay. I don't like my chances against the big guy, though. If I'm having that much trouble with a bird, it's not looking good. Okay, not a chance. Doesn't do anything, and granted Divine Shield is pretty awesome, so is Blinding Light. I really don't want to give up Bleed and Eviscerate. So there's that. Okay. I'm okay with this. I guess Spike here would have been nice, but that's fine. Poop. Alright, uh, what here do I not want you to get? Uh, probably, well, this, either of these, really. Okay, the Mighty Strike's fine. Them picking up an extra card doesn't help them, as far as I can tell, anyway. So I'll just block that to gain a hit point back. He's still not in Fury mode, so this will block that completely still. Still not quite in Fury mode yet, but it won't be long now, because this will put him into Fury mode. And here's where it starts to get crazy. Do I let him have a card to make him start bleeding? I think the answer is yes. I think that's worth it. I had to let him do it anyway because I had nothing but attacks, but I think it's worth it anyway. Uh, I can take that. It's actually good he stole uh, such a weak card. Because now, yeah, Rum saved him, but it uh, won't be for long. I'll deal one, and then the bleed will finish him. Oh, there we go, folks. Wow. Alright, so you got Gullible, which is a bad one. That unlocked the thing for the Drunken Sailor. And then a couple more of the uh, dungeons for the pirates. Fantastic. So let's just go ahead and put those somewhere. New apprentice arrived. There's our drunken sailor. Let's go look at our trophy. There it is. Why it's a Lego ham? I guess because he's a butcher, I guess. Weird. Anyway, we finally did it despite massive massive failures we finally were successful so that tells me it is absolutely time to end this recording and go to bed so 
thank you to everyone for joining me, and until next time, stay calm, and I hope you'll come and chill with me again in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.